Today is my day off, and I finally got to catch up on some of the Linuxy content that I've missed out over the last few weeks. And in one of those videos, uh, DT, or DistroTube, made an interesting video that raised a question for me. He asked himself a question, what would DT's distro look like? And he went on to describe a few things about it. And that kind of raised a question for me. What would mine look like? And instead of walking around my backyard and you know talking about it, I figured I would kind of show what this hypothetical distro would look like. But I'm not going to build it. I'm not going to release an ISO because, well, I'm just not going to. So here is my hypothetical distro. I'm going to log into the system. And let me fix the resolution. Okay, that's a little better. So of course it's going to be, if, of course it's Debian based, or actually Dev1 based, because, well, not because I hate System D, it's because I've really grown to like OpenRC a lot. And the environment, I mean, as you can probably tell, you know, if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, it's Spectre WM. I mean, I've enjoyed using this window manager since before the first video I made on it. Another thing that was interesting in DT's video is that he mentioned making the default shell fish, which I thought that was really interesting because I had just switched to fish about a week prior, and I f and also I have found it to be fantastic. I mean, if for nothing more than the autocomplete features in this little distro quote unquote that I've created or whatever it's a VM it is a spin of dev1 with Spectre WM with my build of ST and it's using the fish the fish shell that I have customized a little bit and added some of and added some of my aliases and stuff like that and I'm so if I see the end of my doc config slash fish directory and then look up and then vim config.fish, you see that I have, you know, customized it a little bit. Not a, not a whole lot, but one thing that I have done is I have set my, you know, set it to use the VI key bindings or vim key bindings. In DT's other video that he saw, or that I saw, he was saying that uh, you were not able to use the sudo bang bang command if you had VI mode enabled. And I kind of found a, a way around that. So if you wanted to use VI mode in fish, but you still wanted to have the pseudo bang bang feature, here's how you do it. In your you know, home slash dot config slash fish slash config dot fish. That's a odd address, but anyway. So this will be a custom function for the for a pseudo bang bang replacement. So you'd say if test equals dollar dollar arg v and so it's pretty much just an if statement so if you type in sudo bang bang it's going to evaluate the sudo history or it's just going to run the sudo argument so it's kind of it's just a little workaround for it so i'm going to show it to you in action so let me get out of it and if i hit escape you can see over here that I'm now in normal mode, and if I press I, I'm back in insert mode. So you see, I'm actually using VI mode. So I'm going to hit escape, and I'm just going to press K, and you see I'm actually scrolling through my my history. Now, if I press I, and let's say I want to say apt update, it says permission denied. Pseudo bang bang. And you see it did work. And anyway, it's a fairly minimal system, so I, I figured my hypothetical users could bloat it up however they saw fit. If you're installing a Dev1 spin with the tiling window manager, you probably know you're probably not afraid of the terminal, and you would kind of know how to do a lot of this kind of stuff. I could be wrong for making that assumption, but this is a hypothetical distro, so it's not even real. I mean, you can build it if you want with my dot files. 
But anyway, in this, I mean, it is a customized Spectre WM. I mean, everything from the layouts to the bar to the fonts and everything that's used, the color scheme, all of that stuff has been edited from the default. And so if I were to call up a, call up a terminal, increase the font, and and edit my spectrewm.comp file, you can see that a lot of this stuff that has been uncommented and changed. Another thing, if you're using spectrewm right now and you want to be able to get icons up here in your bar, there's an easy button way of doing this. Use a nerd font. Because if you just use, let's say, the regular Ubuntu font or the uh, monospace font or Inconsolata or whatever other really nice looking font that you want to use, you would have to call another font and switch back and forth in your in your bar action script and you probably still wouldn't be able to get icons over here. The easy, the easy button way of doing that is just installing a nerd font and having that be your bar font. Because here, as you can see, I'm running Noto Sans nerd font. I can have icons here for my workspaces and for my baraction.sh. And also, if I pull up another terminal, and I see it into dot config, and then vim baraction.sh, if, you, if you've seen a lot, you know, some other videos about customizing the Spectre WM bar, and they have they have successfully added icons to it. You know, they have been caught, they've been writing some other markup stuff in here and changing the font just to add the icon, then changing back to the standard font, and then changing to their secondary font to add another icon, then changing back, and then changing again, changing back. It, it's 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 messy and just install nerd font. It's way way easier. And I've also edited the layouts. I have renamed the workspaces so I can have icons up here if I, because I, I think that looks nice. Uh, changed the mod key to the Windows key. And here I have you know, some of my default programs called here. So let's say my terminal, my terminal is ST. My menu is D menu, which of course is D menu. I have set Firefox to open with mod shift and W. I've got PC Man FM set to open with mod shift and F. Uh, wall is my, or my wallpaper shuffler script. Uh, LD exit is actually a page that I stole from Mio Linux. Uh, if you haven't checked out Mio Linux, definitely go check his, go, go, go check his channel out. He's, he has some really good content. It's, he's, he's a really funny guy and yeah, just go check out Mio Linux. There's some there's some good stuff over there. And also, I have a lock script. To it, let me just let me just get out of this, and I'll call up my lock script. So I have that set to mod shift delete, and all that does it uses i3 lock with image magic, and that's really about it. So all it all it has done is taken a screenshot run it through image magic and blur it and then pipe that image into i3 lock. So to get out of that, just type in your password. And another thing, the page that I stole from Mio Linux was the logout script. So if I were to you know, attempt to log out, I would say mod shift Q and in the original config of Spectre WM, that would just log you, that would just log you out immediately. Whereas now it's pulling up a little YAD script that uses my GTK theme and it gives you some choices. You can shut down, reboot, log out, or lock the screen. So thank you, Dan. You can even lock the screen from here or you can reboot, shut down, all that stuff. Anyway, another thing I was gonna show was the wallpaper changer. And one thing that's really cool about this, in my opinion, you may not think it's cool, is that my background here always matches my light DM background. Even if I were to log out now and then, or reboot or whatever, it's gonna be the same. Because the way I have my wallpaper changer set up, it actually cats out that image into a file called 
or, or into a PNG file called current wallpaper. And I have my light DM set up to have the background of user share backgrounds, current wallpaper. So I thought that was kind of cool and a neat little hack. So if I were to just reboot, And, oh, and another thing, as you can see, I'm running Linux kernel 5.9 because this is based on Dev1 series. And if I were to actually make a spin, I would probably base it on Chimera because it's using the same kernel, but it's the, Chimera is Dev1's testing branch and series is Dev1's unstable branch. But I did this just for fun. But anyway, as you can see in Light DM, we have the same wallpaper as we had before on our desktop. Let me log in. And we're back to where we were. So anyway, that's about all I've got for today. I just kind of wanted to do a fun little video to show a hypothetical distro of something that I would make if I were interested in something like that. And honestly, if anybody's interested in building a system similar to that, uh, you can use my dot files if you want. I have no issue with that. And have a look at Mio Linux if you want to look at those YAD scripts. Uh, those are really, really interesting. Uh, I may do a video on YAD once I get a better understanding of it because I, right now I'm kind of a script kitty and I really can't speak intelligently on that. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. Y'all have a nice day. Like, share, and subscribe.